Hello everyone, my name is Astha and I welcome you all to our classes for International English Olympiad for class 5th. Today is our 18th class in the series and we will be doing the topic of narration. Narration includes, uh, you know, taking the um, conversion from the direct speech to the indirect speech. So for that there are various rules which we will be doing and understanding. So if you follow these rules, I am pretty sure you won't be making any mistake in any sort of conversion. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so what is reported speech? Reported speech refers to uh, when we talk about what somebody else said. Okay, when we are telling someone else what someone else has said. Suppose you are telling your mother what happened in school and what your teacher said about something. So when you will tell your mother about what your teacher said, that will be reported speech. All right. Okay, so what is direct speech? Now, reported speech can be of two forms. Either you say and tell that thing directly. Let's see how. I mean, in the form of direct speech, let's see. Direct speech repeats or quotes the exact words spoken. Now, when you are telling your mother about what your teacher said, you can either say the exact words that she has spoken Let's see the examples. Like she says, what time will you be home? So whatever she said, she, whatever that person we're talking about said, ye uske exact words and these are the exact words she said. What time will you be home? Okay. And which means we are quoting them exactly. She, again example, she said, what time you will be home? And I said, I don't know. So you see, uh, the exact words of this girl or this uh, lady she and exact words of whosoever is speaking exact words of this I all right for example me so when I when I'm telling that she uh, she said what time you will be home these were her exact words and I said I don't know so I don't know these were my exact words so I'm quoting her and then I'm quoting me all right another one there's a fly in my soup, screamed Simon. So these were the exact words of Simon. We're repeating the exact words with Simon spoke. John said, there's an elephant outside the window. So again, John's, uh, John is quoting. Uh, sorry, John's words are being quoted, all right, by whosoever is telling this. So this format where we repeat the words exactly as they were spoken, or we quote them exactly, then that is called direct speech. Okay, this is the first format. All right, so the second format is the indirect speech. What is it? Reported or indirect speech is usually used to talk about the past. So what do we do? So we normally change the tense of the word spoken. Let's note here, we change the tense of the word spoken. And then what else? We use reporting verbs. Focus here, we use reporting verbs. Reporting verbs like say, tell, ask. What are these? These are reporting verbs. Now here, we use these reporting verbs. What are these reporting verbs? These are the verbs which are used to report whatever has been said in the past. All right, like say, tell and ask. And what else do we do? We may use the word that to introduce the reported words. All right, now here you see we've talked about two, three things. I will explain them to you with examples. Let's see here. She said, I saw him. Now, I, she said, I saw him. This is direct speech, which means these are the exact words, exact quoted words, which were, which were spoken by this person who we are referring to as she. Okay. Her exact words were, I saw him. So, these words are in quotes and this is direct speech. But if we change this to indirect speech, how? She said that. 
now we are introducing that and we are using as we said here we may use the word that to introduce the reported words now we use the word that here and after that we tell about whatever the reported words are whatever she said now we are going to tell after using the word that so she said that she had seen him now here you see what has happened for the tense had seen him the tense has changed saw has been changed to had seen in the indirect speech and this uh, say this is a reporting verb which is used like said said the past form of say reported verb reporting verb has been used that has been used and the tense has been changed all right now there is an option sometimes that you may in omit that that may be omitted like you know she told him that she was happy uh, can also be said as she told him she was happy although it's a really a choice and depends from person to person and uh, maybe syllabus to syllabus whether they choose to omit that or not but in conversations in i mean practically yes you may omit that sometimes although it is preferable agar aap that use karenge okay so first was direct speech jisme hum exact words quote kar rahe hain but yahan indirect speech mein we're talking about the past so we change the tense we use reporting verbs and we also use the word that all right so that's it now we have understood uh, direct speech and indirect speech now we will move on uh, to the next segment let's start okay so now we will be talking about a five step approach for understanding direct and indirect speech and like for converting from direct speech to indirect speech first what we have to do is define the type of sentence either it is a statement or a question or a command all right then what tense is used in the introductory sentence which means we have to identify the tense third thing do you have to change the person matlab you have to change the pronoun we have to we have to check that then do you have to back shift the tenses back shift the tenses change the tenses and uh, this is past ka sorry uh, present becomes past all right back shifting of tenses and last one do you have to change expressions of time and place so all these steps we will be discussing in detail let's start so step 1 you have to identify whether it is a statement or it is a question or a command statement when you stating something like i say i am a girl or questions questions could be where are you going command could be like um, uh, sit down or close the door all right commands and orders so identify the sentence ek kis tarike ka sentence poocha ja raha hai kis tarike ka sentence is in the direct speech all right now the next next rule is or next step is the introductory sentence now the introductory sentence in reported speech can be in the present or past let's see how if the introductory sentence is in the simple present then there is no back shift of tenses for example agar direct speech mein hum keh rahe hain like susan says this that mary works in an office okay so reported speech mein introductory sentence in the simple present agar hai to susan says that mary works in an office but agar jo introductory sentence simple past mein hai so it becomes susan said that mary worked in an office which means agar introductory sentence simple past mein hai to jo tense hai uski back shifting हो जाएगी ऑल राइट लाइक इंट्रोडक्टरी सेंटेंस क्या हुआ जैसे ये 
सूजन सेज दैट ये है सिंपल प्रेजेंट में सूजन सेज मतलब सूजन कहती है ये ओके okay? वो रेगुलरली ये कहती है मतलब उसका कहना ये है सूजन सेज दैट सिंपल प्रेजेंट में है तो दैट मैरी वर्क इन एन ऑफिस ओके बट अगर हम पास की बात बता रहे हैं कि सूजन ने ये कहा था तो सूजन सेड दैट वो कह चुकी ना अभी भी अभी भी थोड़ी ना कहती है वो वो कह चुकी है ये बात सूजन सेड दैट मैरी वर्क इन एन ऑफिस सो अगर हमारे इंट्रोडक्टरी सेंटेंस भी सिंपल पास्ट में है तो बैक शिफ्टिंग होगी टेंसेस की बैक शिफ्टिंग ऑफ टेंसेस हम पढ़ेंगे अभी डिटेल में बट जस्ट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड इसे प्रेजेंट है तो वो पास्ट हो जाएगा सो हि मैरी वर्क इन एन ऑफिस ये सेम टेंस रहा हिया यू सी डिरेक्ट स्पीच का ये टेंस सेम रहा बट इन दी सिंपल पास्ट वन दिस वन हैज बैक शिफ्टेड एंड चेंज इन टू पास्ट टेंस विच इज मैरी वर्क इन एन office all right so the second rule is about the introductory sentence all right so the next rule talks about the change of pronouns change of persons slash pronouns now if there is a pronoun in direct speech it is possibly to be changed in reported speech depending on the situation For example, let's see direct speech. Me, if Susan, colon she, her exact words are, I work in an office. But in reported speech, Susan said that she worked in an office. That she. Now here I is changed to she because now we are talking in third person. So I changed to she. All right. This is this so this rule or this step talks about change of persons or pronouns. For example, if there is a male, you'll change it to he. That um, they to them, you know, that's how it is going to work. All right. Okay. So the next step we're talking about back shifting of tenses. If there is a back shift of tenses in reported speech, the tenses are shifted in the following way. Let's see direct speech. If Peter said, "I work in the garden," then in reported speech it will be, "Peter said that he worked in the garden." So simple present converted to simple past. Here is the table of the back shifting from direct speech to reported speech. The simple forms like simple present. to simple past simple past to past perfect present perfect also to past perfect and all past perfect will remain in past perfect all right will would will changes to would the progressive forms the they change as am are is changes to was or were was or were has been had been it changes to had been all right this is the back shifting of tenses and when does back shifting of tenses take place when the introductory sentence is also in the past tense all right so now here this is about conversion of the expressions of time and place like um, any times and place if we are if we have referred to that also gets converted in reported speech like this evening becomes that evening today or this day becomes that day these days becomes those days now becomes then a week ago referred to as a week before last weekend the weekend before or the previous weekend next week which means the following week tomorrow it's converted to the next or the following day here becomes there so the these expressions of time and place are also converted yes these that's all for the rules now let's move on all right so now we will be moving towards the quiz and um, these questions shall act as examples for also and shall act as a test also right brace yourself let's move towards the next segment
All right. So for the quiz, what we will be doing is now every question you will be given one minute. One minute means sixty seconds. Why am I giving you one minute? Because you see, your question paper of IEO, it has about uh, fifty questions, and so you can uh, imagine that you know you get more or less a minute to answer. the questions now this 1 minute is the maximum that you should be taking for answering the question now suppose there could be two three two three categories of students first category is suppose you answer the question within that 1 minute so i would request you to fast forward the video and uh skip right to the answer you should not be wasting your time all right now the other students who are not able to answer the question in 1 minute what you do you don't skip to the answer you pause the video and you write down your answer all right it is very important to answer each and every question because there is no negative marking here you see for every incorrect answer no points because there is no negative marking in ieo so it is important that you attempt all the questions now for a question of which you are not sure about the answer now even here and even in the exam if you are not sure about the answer and you maybe think that b option is might be correct or c option might be correct so you should uh, in that case play your luck and play your mind and make a guess and still give an answer because it is a win win situation either you will get the marks for that question or you will get a zero right but if you don't attempt that question at all then you are anyway getting a zero in that right so it is good to attempt those questions and uh, even if you don't know all the answers try to understand and take a guess okay so this is for every correct answer 10 points this is just for your uh, for your own little game where you can try uh, to maintain a notepad so here you write the name of the chapter and then the question and then if it is correct you can give yourself 10 points if it is not correct you mark it here so it is important to mark to see these questions the ones which you mark incorrect it is important to go back to them later and then see where you did the mistake all right this is just for your reference for every correct answer you can give yourself 10 points all right now let's uh, start Okay here the question says choose the correct indirect form of speech from the given options the correct indirect form let's see shan says i play squash daily so the indirect form will be so shan says that dash squash daily so shan says that i play he play he plays or he played 
so yeah first of all see so shan say is that what is this this is simple present okay this is simple present and we read the rule that when the introductory sentence is in simple present then there is no back shifting of tenses so sushant says that here the tense will not be back shifted here if this would have been sushant said that then the tense would have back shifted but here it is simple present so the tense will not be back shifted and the answer is sushant says that he plays squash daily which means c okay other options i play here the pronoun is not changed and the tense is also incorrect b play here this is also incorrect d he played either back shift ho gaya hai but we don't have to do the back shifting all right so the correct answer is c he plays Okay, so this question says, Dolly will say, I can solve this sum easily. So here, um, in direct speech, Dolly will say that she, sorry, that dash solve that sum easily. Now here you see the options are A she can, B she could, C I could, or D. i can now here again you see here we talking about future dolly will say that okay future so the answer will be she can all right she we changing the pronoun and the verb will be can and uh, here the other ones b she could here the tense is incorrect C I could I the pronoun is incorrect verb is also incorrect D I the pronoun is incorrect all right let's move on
Arun said Varun will not play the match. Arun said that Varun dashed the match, will not play, would not play, C should not play or D did not play. Now here the correct answer is B would not play that Varun would not play the match. Why would not play? Here first of all C said that so here the introductory sentence is in the past tense. So this will also change this Varun this uh, tense here. Here the tense will backshift and Varun would not play the match. Okay. So will changes into would. Alright. So Varun would not play the match. The other ones A will not. Here the tense is incorrect. C should should. So it will not come. D did not play. And did not is not is not is also not here, so it will also not change. So it will this is also incorrect. Okay. says I don't tell a lie. So in indirect speech he even says that dash tell a lie. He don't, D he did not, C he doesn't or D I didn't. Now here the correct answer is C he doesn't. Why C he doesn't? You see the introductory sentence even says that this is in simple present there will be no back shifting of tenses. Back shifting nahi hogi to simple present mein rahega. So doesn't ho gaya, he doesn't and he because um, is a third person mein refer kar rahe hai, so even becomes he change of pronouns. Alright. So the other options he don't, the don't is incorrect here B. He don't and he did not mean the same thing but contraction use ho gaya. D I didn't. I is also incorrect and didn't is also incorrect. Okay. So here it says, 
Ajay said, I lost my ball in the ground. So in direct speech, Ajay said that dash in the ground. He lost my ball in the ground. He lost his ball in the ground. He had lost his ball in the ground. Or he had lost my ball in the ground. So here what do we do first? We first analyze the introductory sentence. In introductory sentences, Ajay said that. So here there will be back shifting of tenses. The correct answer is C. So Ajay said that he had lost his ball. Okay. So he had lost tense uh, back shift to a and then his ball. Why his? Either he says my ball. So whose ball is it? Ajay's ball. So it becomes his ball. And I here becomes he because we're talking in third person. All right. The other options. He lost my ball. Now my here this is incorrect. Tense B kalat hai. And B he lost his ball. Tense is incorrect. D he had lost my ball. My nahi hoga, his hoga. Because we're talking about Ajay's ball. It's not your ball, right? It's Ajay's ball. Neha said, I can swim without fear. So the indirect speech, Neha said that, dash without fear. She can swim without fear, that she could swim without fear, she swam without fear, or I could swim without fear. Now here, the correct answer is, she could swim without fear. Alright, let's see this step by step. First of all, we see the introductory sentence said. Said hai to back shifting of tenses hoga. Can swim will become could swim. Alright. Then this one, I, this pronoun I, talking about Neha. So in the third person when we'll say, so we'll say she could swim. Alright. So Neha said that she could swim. The other options, A, she can swim. Here can. Back shift nahi hai tenses. C. She swam. Back shifting of tenses me problem hai. D. I could swim. Is me kaha problem hai? I. Pronoun ki problem hai. Alright?
My father said it may rain today. My father said that dash that day. A it might rain. B it may rain. C that my train or D it may be rain. So here the correct answer is A it might rain. My father said it might rain today. Okay, let's see this step by step again. Introductory sentence is in the past, past tense. So back shifting of tenses will take place. So it may rain. To, it may rain. May rain will become might rain. Okay, back shifting of tenses. Then today, today we learnt you know expressions of time and place gets converted to that day. The question may be there, but it is important to see this. Okay, it is important to note that today gets converted to that day. Just pointing this out for your reference. So yes, it might rain. Back shifting of tenses over here. The other options, B it may rain is not the back shift name hua. C that my train. Now it ko that me nahi karna hai. It will remain it. D it may be rain. This is also incorrect. Incorrect back shifting. Okay. All right. So here, what do we have to do? Choose the correct and direct form of speech from the given options. We given given options, and we have to choose the correct indirect form. Direct speech di hui hai hume. Let's see. Mohan said, "I am as intelligent as my brother." This is a little bit tricky. You have to pay very close attention. Okay. Mohan said, "I am as intelligent as my brother." Now, first of all, see here. Mohan said, "Ye past hai." Okay. तो यहाँ पे क्या होगा बैक शिफ्टिंग होगी ठीक है यहाँ पे दैट इंक्लूड होगा आई है आई कौन है मोहन यहाँ पे हम ही करेंगे और एम एम की बात हो रही है मतलब यहाँ पे टेंस है टेंस जो होगा यहाँ पे पास टेंस में कन्वर्ट होगा सो मोहन सेड दैट ही वॉज ओके देन एज इंटेलिजेंट एज माई ब्रदर माई कौन है मोहन है मोहन का ब्रदर सो so, यहाँ पे हम अगर प्रोनाउन यूज करेंगे हिज ब्रदर All right. So here, um, the correct answer is this one. A. Mohan said that he was as intelligent as his brother. All right. Other ones you see. Mohan told that I am as I am. This is incorrect. Here, here, back shifting. No, we pronoun ni change hua. As my यहाँ पे pronoun नहीं change हुआ. C में Mohan said that he is as intelligent. तो यहाँ पे that नहीं है. Although even if we ignore that, then he is back shifting नहीं हुई. Okay. D option Mohan said that I was as in I was I. Pronoun नहीं change हुआ. And यहाँ again pronoun नहीं change हुआ in my. All right. ऐसे आपको एक एक स्टेप देख के एनालाइज करना है एंड बेसिक ही है अगर आपको याद है तो फिर इजी होगा इट्स नॉट डिफिकल्ट ऑल राइट
here in direct speech Prithika said our school will start next week all right isko bhi hum step by step step dekhenge Prithika said past tense hai back shifting hogi all right our school kiska school hai aapka to nahi hai Prithika ka school hai Prithika said that their school Prithika ka school so their school um sorry तो यह प्लूरल में बात हो रही है सो आ विल गेट कन्वर्टेड टू देर पिटिका सेट यहाँ पे दैट आ जाएगा दैट देर स्कूल विल नाउ विल स्टार्ट विल स्टार्ट इसकी बैक शिफ्टिंग होगी एंड विल विल चेंज टू वुड स्टार्ट नेक्स्ट वीक नेक्स्ट वीक के लिए हमने क्या पढ़ा था एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ टाइम एंड प्लेस को कैसे कन्वर्ट करते हैं हाँ इट विल बिकम द फॉलोइंग वीक ओके सो हेयर करेक्ट आंसर इज बी Prithika said that their school would start the following week. All right. Other ones, let's see. A. Prithika said that our school will start next week. Okay. Our. यहाँ भी pronoun नहीं change हुआ. Back shift नहीं हुआ tense. Next week expression of time नहीं change हुआ. Okay. C. Here her है. Now her is incorrect because यहाँ पे our है तो our will get converted to their. अगर यहाँ पे our की जगह होता my. ओके देन हम हर करते और जहां पे आर है प्लूरल है सो दैट विल बी कन्वर्टेड टू देर ऋतिका सेड दैट हर स्कूल विल स्टार्ट द फॉलोइंग वीक विल स्टार्ट अगेन दिस वुड दिस बैक शिफ्टिंग नहीं हुई ओके इन डी ऋतिका सेड दैट देयर स्कूल विल स्टार्ट नेक्स्ट वीक अगेन यहां पे बैक शिफ्टिंग नहीं हुई एंड नेक्स्ट वीक यहां पे एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ टाइम भी नहीं बदला गया ऑलराइट With this, we come to an end of for the questions of narration. I hope you have understood. I have done a lot of step by step. I have tried to explain it to you. You will follow it step by step. 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 I hope you have understood the basic rules and how to convert one into another. So, if you take care of these rules, there is uh, there uh, there are going to be hardly any mistakes that you can make. All right. So, keep revising them and keep learning. I will see you the next time. Thank you for watching.